Welcome to my session once again, a guidance sessions to make you improve, to make better informed decisions and to get ahead in career. In my uh, videos, I talked about how to uh, start a business, guidelines for business. I've talked about sales. Now I'm talking about superior skills required for an employer. Unfortunately, most of the people do, do may aspire for a job, but they do not know what are the skills required by the employer. We have covered three skills before, communication, computer, flexibility. And now today I'll cover interpersonal capability. Interpersonal capability means you have to work in a team. You're not working alone. So it is very important for you to have the skill of a interpersonal building skills with the other team members. You should also be able to uh, relate to your workers. You should be able to relate to your seniors, to your worker, uh, their output, their uh, inputs, their problems, etc. You should be able to inspire them to do better. You should invite, inspire them to come out with suggestions. You should inspire them to improve their productivity. And you should mitigate conflicts with co-workers. If as a manager, you create conflict, well, you're no good for the employer. Well, you definitely are expected to look after the employer's interest, but also look after the workers so that there is no conflict. And even if there is a conflict, when you should be able to, uh, uh, you should be able to uh, solve the uh, conflict uh, on the workshop workflow so that the time is not wasted. Then you must also work out the, an employer will expect you to have leadership and management skills in which he would express that you should be able to uh, take charge manage co-workers and uh, for the desired results. You should be a goal-driven leader who should be able to inspire workers for a better productivity. You should be able to maintain a productive activities. Then you should be able to motivate, mobilize and implement the, require, the resources available for the desired results and uh, you, you will be judged for these qualities when you are in an interview and your resume plus your job profile uh, experience will indicate whether you have these qualifications, these skills or not. In an environment today where you have people, the world has become a, a global village and uh, you need to be able to work with multicultural work, workers. You should be able to know, know their awareness. You should be able to uh, be able to understand the language which they understand, the word which they under, understand. So diversity has to be managed. You should be sensitivity to sensitive to their awareness and to their uh, feelings. You should be able to create rapport between workers of uh, different kinds in a multicultural uh, setting. Last not the least, we will talk about is planning, organizing. That is a very basic thing which most of the people do realize, but they do not really realize the exact listing of a uh, employer's requirement. You should be able to design a task. You should be able to make the benchmark for the task. 
you should be able to set goals for uh, individuals you should be able to work within given resources you must then you must have a problem solving skills problem solving skill means you should be able to reason out and you should be able to create solutions and creating a solution to the problem is very essential you can create problem for the organization but organization is not hired you to create problem but to solve problem so you have to keep this in mind so whatever i have said in my previous uh, uh, session and now is to give you some idea the from the ex, uh, employer's point of view and this is applicable at all levels the weightage of employability skills is more on the initial selection process but superior skills skills which employers are looking for senior people also is very important once you want to go ahead and get promoted do keep it in mind thank you